Welcome back to the Buckeye State Wells. We are at Walbridge, Ohio, and today we will be mission here, Walbridge, Ohio, because this late afternoon we would stay here till like 5:30-ish, but that's when it gets dark. It's because at 2:15:04 would ending up having the CNO Chesapeake and Ohio Heritage locomotive. This train that is departing the yard is M215 Oakley. He was just getting done with switching and now he's departing for New Boston. New Boston, that's where he will switch at for like at least a couple of few hours. But he's now departing and I would meet up with a couple of buddies, one buddy of mine here at Walmart. But a couple of my, my buddies are still coming over here at this spot at the Walwood Yard. North end of the yard, Union Street at 215 would have a four engine locomotive set up today. I don't know if they had that set up for quite a while, but they just did. So, they're making their way north and they're bound for Wayne, Michigan. would any note come from the Toledo docks with a Devo ZS16 893 the leader both maces 4560 and 4571 and then the 12 and 4th unit is a Devo ZS16 3068 would any note being the 12 and 4th unit so this is the 4 engine consist once again but on a southbound coal train bound for Russell, Kentucky. You would have to go through Walbridge on the Pemberville subdivision, and then once he gets through Cross Royal, it would be the Columbus subdivision, and then he would actually be from Columbus, going through Columbus, and then once that, it will be the Northern subdivision. And then there, to Russell, Kentucky. So, four engine lash up once again. That is actually very nice to see. Cause, well, the two locomotives are trailing third and second are very cool. SD70 Max, which are aces, but aces.
As I was on a Discord call with CSX and his train videos, I-151 decides to show up from Vickers Junction. I heard them calling a clear on the scanner, and then me thinking, he has five minutes still to get down here. That is completely true. 771 is the leader for today's 151. 151 is heading down towards New North Baltimore, Ohio. That's his destination from Detroit, Michigan. It's I-151-04 today. And they got quite a long train for their journey down in North Baltimore. They even got a lot of a lot of containers. Or, or that, they just had an extra train with them from the Lomelis Depot. That's probably the reason why. Negative,
Yeah. Five sixty seven oh four would end up being working the yard. I heard them calling through the defect detector at Lamoy, which is one 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 dot four, and they had no defects on their train today. Most of them, most of our trains on the Pemberville line do not have any defects. Unless they have a hot box or whatever, but I didn't. I haven't heard them calling any of that on the Pemberville subdivision just yet. 557 would end up working the yard, but before they would actually do that, they would be waiting on a coal train heading north towards the Toledo docks. They're gonna have to wait because the coal train that they're waiting on is by the turnpike.
259, all stop. All stop, All right, C509-03 is going around 567. It's because that coal train that I was telling you guys what earlier, well, this is it. This is basically the coal train that they've been waiting for for quite a while. That's the reason why 5657 stopped there, right there. Even though the locomotive is not too far, they still had to stop because C509 crossed over. So yeah. they would have to cross over because they're going to the Toledo docks. They would end up having a DPU on their train today. Usually they would have one engine and then mid DPU. They had two engines on front and one in the middle. But sometimes that does not matter. There's the end, finally. Y3-1104 would ending up departing the yard after working the yard. They would depart to Fort Stanley Yard. That's around Toledo area. And that's a yard job from Walbridge to Stanley Yard. 2041 is leading today's yard job. It's not really discussable what this train used to be. This is just a local that comes from Walbridge to Stanley. But it has a bunch of brand new Arawax Unit Pacific Building America. So those are brand new. And then, yuck, we have some old junky. Well, they're not junky, but they're old Arawax. There's a Conrail. And then. If you seen that brand new one right there, that's a CPKC Arawak.
NYRD, Robert, for S631, West NYRD. The time has came after Y311 departs the yard. We get this 21504 departing the yard after like many hours later. They finally get their crew to head north. Now, this is our fifth heritage locomotive that is leading. I may or may not see all heritage units lead. I'm not just bragging about that one, but I just get pretty lucky seeing all the heritage units lead. The one time I saw Seaboard, that was my first time, called it leading. That video's all the way up. Jesse, that video's all the way up. B&O leading, I have not posted that video yet. I've seen that trailing with my good buddy of Will. We did a two-day meetup, and... That was pretty good times, and the Conwell I have seen here at Wallbridge posted that video already. They're all going to be link above, and now the chase begins to the figure junction. We would not go to the diamond, however, that's close off, but I tell you what, we go to the, this one road that dead ends to the... CSX Toledo Terminal, which is basically up north, is the Saginaw Subdivision. And we get this loaded coal train heading westbound, and they have a weird DPU on it. It's a Union Pacific Giro as a weird DPU. Few minutes have passed. We get our clear signal for our 215 to proceed north. With the Chesapeake and Ohio leading the way, they can make it towards Wayne, Michigan at night.
this was a lovely adventure that we took down the wall bridge. I went going earlier, and then afterwards we went down the wall bridge just to wait for 215 with the Chesapeake and Ohio leading. But this will be ending for our night here at Figures Junction. If you really guys enjoyed it, like, comment, and maybe subscribe if you really enjoyed it. You guys will probably ring the bell so you guys can get notified of all my other videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll either see you, y'all, in a Michigan or state, or the Buckeye State Wells.